Etsy, Shopify. Which one should you be all in on? We're gonna get to the answer in just a second. But before I get to this, remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more Etsy videos as well as Shopify videos on this channel. And also hit the notification bell and comment as to what you think is better, Etsy or Shopify. So let's go. Now, some of the great things about Etsy are, number one, you're selling on a platform that millions upon millions of people go to between other platforms out there, such as your own website. There is a lot more traffic on Etsy than let's just say selling on Shopify, at least when you first get going. Another reason why Etsy is so great compared to Shopify is that the customer base is very loyal. Etsy already has a very loyal customer base when you possibly are just getting started on Shopify or not a lot of people are as aware of you, let's just say, as compared to other shops on Etsy or Amazon. But I'll tell you right now, so a lot more people will also trust Etsy compared to possibly your store on Shopify. But that's when you first get going. And of course, that's what I'm comparing them to. Sort of the, if you're not really an established brand yet on Shopify compared to Etsy. So Etsy, you really can just get going right away. Etsy has a lot of really good tools so you can advertise off the platform or on it as well. Brand awareness can also be really big and can really complement your Shopify store if you really are able to build a brand simultaneously when you're on Etsy and Shopify. Now, some of the downfalls though of Etsy are that there are very high fees. The high fees are way, way, way more than let's just say on Shopify compared to that. And Etsy's case system is not great. And you know, it is not favorable to a lot of sellers out there if you're trying to sell products on Etsy that I found. Now don't get me wrong, I've actually won a bunch of cases when I'm selling on Etsy. I still continue to sell on Etsy. So there are once in a while, I get a case here and there. It's not that often, fortunately, but when they do pop up, it's a horrible system in my view, you know, compared to Shopify. I mean, really Shopify, you have to deal with chargebacks and we'll get to that in a second. But for Etsy, they do have some sort of technical support, but not a lot. Shopify, they have a lot better technical support compared to Etsy. Etsy, that is one of the best things about Shopify is their technical support and their customer service. But really, that's one of the downfalls I've seen when we're talking about Etsy compared to Shopify. There's no telephone number on Etsy, so you can't even call them unless you request some sort of call on their technical support uh, chat. And that's just, their, their chat is awful. I mean, we're talking really bad if you have a serious problem. If it's just a, a simple question, Etsy's chat is, you know, just a simple chat, just similar to, to eBay or Amazon. It does does not favor sellers most of the time. We were just talking about the case system. I mean, I found every single time that the et that Etsy has refunded a buyer, even though I was not obligated to pay a lot of the time if the case was opened against me. Etsy would just favor the buyer every single time, but they would take the money out of their pocket luckily. I was, I'm very lucky in that sense and a lot of other sellers as well. But there have been other cases where I've sold an item and Etsy has actually turned their back on me once when I didn't didn't respond in just barely over 24 hours and they just said I was about to respond like literally the next day after the after the case was open and Etsy basically favored the buyer forced a refund from me even though the the product that uh, that was that was sent to the customer was a1 there was nothing wrong with it I could say that for a fact there was one time that I actually sent a, uh, an item to a buyer recently within the last 12 months and I said Said, okay, yeah, this is my fault. This was not supposed to be sent, you know, send it back, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, they never did, but you know, I admitted that that I was wrong about, about this and I was totally fine with that. But in this case, I was not in the wrong, but Etsy still sided with the buyer and said, you know what? We're not even gonna help you. If the buyer returns the item, they return the item. We don't care. And I just I can't believe that Etsy would do this when I'm a loyal seller and a and bunch of sellers out there have the same exact problem, not just me, forget me. I mean, this is an ongoing problem throughout Etsy. And so that's just a ne another negative thing about selling on Etsy. 
But positives are, though, a lot more people go to Etsy. That's just the nature of the game. They're one of the top three e-commerce platforms out there like Amazon, Etsy, and eBay. They're really on the top tier in terms of e-commerce, and really they're the number one in terms of handmade goods. I would even put them ahead of Amazon in that case. So I know Amazon does have a handmade section, but I think Etsy is even better than Amazon if we're talking about handmade stuff. So those are the positives and the negatives of Etsy. Now let's talk about Shopify. Shopify. Well, if we're going to be talking about Shopify drop shipping, then Shopify drop shipping is incredible once you really understand advertising for yourself and not rely on, let's just say, Etsy to advertise an item for you, because that's essentially what you're doing a lot of time when you're when we're talking about Etsy. They actually advertise the item for you on Shopify. It's your obligation to either A, build SEO, search engine optimization, or number two, actually sell the product off site in terms of, let's just say, on TikTok, like if you're advertising the product on TikTok, or Facebook ads, Instagram influencers, and so on and so forth. Of course, you can also do both SEO and ads, but you really do have to put in the legwork and understand how to advertise a product and really sell it off site. So with Etsy, then you're pretty much like with someone, at least you have basically have a parent almost standing next to you, which is kind of a good analogy when we're talking about Etsy. With Shopify, you're on your own. I mean, we're talking, you are on your own. Like, whatever happens, it's on you. And you need to make sure that you're going to do the best job of selling a certain product on Shopify or you're pretty much screwed. But the best things about Shopify is that you really are on your own. And that's some, it's like a positive and a negative right there. So you really don't have to answer to anybody. You're your own boss. You don't have to put up with really case systems unless there's a chargeback, let's just say on PayPal or something, but then you deal with PayPal directly or the credit card company and you work with them directly. But a lot of the time I found this doesn't really happen all that often for me, luckily, because I have avoided a lot of these like, you know, shady buyers a lot of the time. If somebody's being shady or asking silly questions on Shopify, then I kind of try to avoid that as much as I possibly can. But it's all about a learning experience when we're talking about Shopify here. But I found over the years of selling on Shopify with when I when I've been drop shipping with them, I have found that it has been so beneficial for me to sell on my own. Basically, when you're selling on Shopify, you are on your own, which is, in my opinion, when I first started, it was horrible. I mean, it was horrible. I couldn't get sales. I was I was not good at advertising. But once I figured it out, I was I was great. I was I was you know just on Facebook ads. I was making a bunch of videos. All the way leading up to now on TikTok ads, I, I learned marketing, I learned all the marketing tools, I learned SEO, I learned brand building. It's really just a really great beneficial thing to, to learn if you want to. And then you also earn a passive income in the meantime on Shopify. Don't get me wrong, when we're talking about passive income, then print on demand is a great tool to also talk about when we're talking about Etsy as well. But you know, Shopify is just, if you understand the business and you understand how to drop ship, then you can be earning even more money on Shopify than compared to Etsy. Not right away. I mean, I'm telling you right now, if, if you were going to do both, which is what I would do, I would do both of them, Shopify and Etsy. Go all in on both. I'm telling you right now, in my opinion, this is coming from me personally and my experience selling on both Etsy and Shopify. If you're going to make money right away within the next like couple weeks or so, I would probably go with Etsy if you know what you're doing. But after those two weeks, sign up for Shopify. In my, in my opinion, that's what I would do. Um, you know, and that's what I've done in the past. I can only speak for myself. Look, I signed up for both Etsy and Shopify. I signed up for Etsy first and then I did with and then I did Shopify and it's been incredible. I haven't looked back ever since. Don't get me wrong, it was a rocky path initially on both on, on Etsy and on Shopify. I, I learned the platforms, I understood them and both of these companies have been just so beneficial for me in the, in the long run. And like, I'm just so grateful as much as both of these companies are flawed. I'm just, I've been so grateful to be able to be in a position where I can work for myself. It's just, you have no idea how much I wanted that ever going all the way back from when I was a kid wanting to work for myself. And now I finally, I'm living the dream of doing that. And I'm just, I'm so grateful for that opportunity. So what I would say is both Shopify 
and Etsy are fantastic to work with. Now, don't get me wrong, like there are a lot of flaws in both, but those are a lot of the big advantages and disadvantages of selling on both. And I would encourage you to try both. And I made a video that you can get free listings on this channel as well if you wanted to try to sell on Etsy as well. And so what do you think, Shopify or Etsy? Remember to comment below, like this video for more, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.